Hello and welcome back on a beautiful September day. I suppose it's surely going to be one of the last real hot ones we get of the year, but it's absolutely roasted up in the case, especially with no air conditioning. So we're here bailing straw. We've, um, I suppose we've a lot of maybe 120 or 30 acres of a bale now at this stage. And today will be our final day on the job. Uh, back at Silas tomorrow, the weekend is to be wet, so it'll, um, oh, you know, I'd say we have a lot to do tomorrow, um, but we'll get our bail count. Our bail count has jumped some amount this week, actually. Uh, it was looking poor enough there for a while, but no, we're back on track, back on track again. So, the coon is bailing away the straw, and it's, um, there's a new software on the coon that it'll drop off two bales at a time. It's very, very handy for the drawing of them afterwards. Um, it's a right good system, to be fair. Just tedding some stuff here. Hopefully we'll get hay out of it. Say by tomorrow evening, it should be fairly nice. So I'm just above near home, doing a second cut job. Uh, right next to home. And I am wrecked. It's been a big week. Tomorrow we'll finish the week off. A couple of bales tomorrow. We'll draw some bales and all that kind of stuff. But this was the last big push for 2023. Maybe 500 bales left to make after today. But it'll be spread out over the course of a month. So it won't, um, it won't be too hard on us. So what I must do one of the days is I must sit down now and give a review on the baler. Full review of it, we'll go through our front to back. We'll tell you the good bits and, and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, I'll get this one wrapped up and head home, go for a sleep. I tried a heap of different types of rolls and ice this year. And this one isn't bad. This is Rhino. I had Zeus Epicrap up in it. That's very good, but this Rhino on it isn't bad and it's not dear. The worst one of the whole lot was Tam in it, believe it or not. Tam at Edge to Edge. It was the worst performing net of the lot. It's with a good few problems with the breaking. Uh, it wasn't covering the bale properly and so on and so forth but this is this rhino stuff is seems pretty good we'll pull it out here now give a look at it it's a bit wider you see it's 1.25 there's a lot of them running 1.23 but no that's that's not bad Nick no that stuff there's a place here not to open it so we're finished so, well obviously for today not for the year um, one thing that's happening since we started knitting is you get this kind of mud off of the wheel and it goes up and it, it lands on the bars for the knitter um, you need to be careful if you come out of a muddy field you'd want to give a look see if one of the rollers for letting in the nest is after getting covered in uh, covered in mud it's just something you need to keep an eye on it's fine in a clean field I did say there was something unusual landing and my god look at that how did that get here and <laughs> the sad news for all the years is gonna get <laughs> it's sold uh, so will we get the chance to do a comparison no we won't do we want to do a comparison no we most definitely do not um, I have used it a little bit no not, not for me at all at all at all uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to annoy the John Deere leads here. It's like driving an old 6600. No difference, only the front axle moves about a bit. Everything else is the same. No, not for me. Not for me at all at all. So anyway, what it is, is it's a, it's a 7710 with front suspension, 50k air brakes, power quad plus. A real sought after model of a tractor. Uh, it looks awesome, don't get me wrong, it looks savage. And if you put it into top gear, it'll go down to about 500 RPM and it'll just pull away. It's 
cool that way but i know I, I can't i can't train this i just can't train this i if i'm being honest i don't know what all the hype is about i don't know why people love him tractor so much i i can't see it i was hoping i would and i was hoping i'd fall in love with it and all that but no like i have absolutely even though this one is sold i have absolutely no grow at all at all at all to ever again drive one of them or do anything with one of them they're a field tractor and that's it they're not they're they're not a road tractor at all at all at all that's my opinion and anyway i know i guess i'm definitely going to get a bit of snack for that but if you want an all-rounder that's what the, that's what that is it's it it wipes the floor with that thing absolutely wipes the floor with it um wouldn't have to talk no wouldn't have to talk everything else it's 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 more comfortable it's quieter it's fast uh, no it's not faster it's the same speed uh it's better it is a way more uh, driver friendly um reliability you tell me i think they're pretty reliable but they're supposed to be the ultimate thing in terms of reliability and build, you know. And I can't argue with that because I don't know because I haven't known one of them for long enough. Um, no. CBX wins this battle, hands down. Um, what I have learned about that is I have to buy some parts for it and the parts are crazy. They're on par with how dear stuff is for them. Uh, and parts are extremely expensive for them it's it's ridiculous really um likewise cvx has the same problem parts are crazy for them oh what else um cvx will run rings around it in terms of turn turning circle um definitely better in that aspect um moving on from that our front suspension set up on the john deere is a lot more simple and takes a lot less maintenance but it's not as comfortable as the cvx system whereas the cvx needs a lot more maintenance but it it works better tls is a brilliant system uh, i won't deny that it's definitely a good system that's better but it takes more you need to take more care of it i think that would be nice if you had the weight block on it you would have more suspension effect we have done the accumulator bottles in it so you know we have it set up as it should be set up as is this tractor and this tractor is more comfortable on the road than it that's some dog of an engine and the injector pump is practically a small engine bolted onto a huge engine <laughs> um and that is one really good point of that that machine is the engine the torque and this is just unbelievable we won't go into the cab of it because there's actually a few panels missing off of it um that i have taken off of it so it looks a bit shit but um the cab is very very dated now i know it's a good bit older than that but it's a very dated cab um no wouldn't be gone the cab of it at all um and again the, the, it's just a, a rattly old bouncy old girl like you know they're a pure puller a pure pure puller i think if we were to give a day spread and slurry or something with them you'd get sick of the four steps they're they're kind of awkward the first one is a good height and then they're nearly too close together after that but um that's one uh, downside i saw it that even the little bit of in and out of it i done i just found it a bit awkward to be getting in and out of it whereas we have just three steps here our cab height is a lot lower even though we we could technically put the same size tires on these because some of these did come on 17 70 38 but our cab is sitting lower um and you have way less of a climb up into the tractor The linkage is removed off this one, but I have it there. Um, just looking at the back of it, I suppose, I don't know about these ones, but obviously cross shafts is a big thing on John Deere's. Um, and PTO splines are another area where we're on them, which is something you don't really ever come across with the, with the cases. Um, I think if you have to 
do anything to the power quad gearbox and these you can turn the cab sideways you have to roll the back end out of these i don't think it's like the 6000 series you can't flip it over um like like you can on the 6000s one thing that should be on every single tractor ever made is these i don't know why they're not on, like if they put them on one tractor i don't know why they don't put them on everything that's just a serious setup for taking off hoses that there's pressure on like you know um oh yes that's uh my biggest um uh thing i counted uh one two three four five six six ecus on this tractor i think i counted um sorry one two three four five yeah six ecus on this tractor um and people say oh blah, 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 too many electrics in him and whatever um there's there's more electrics nearly in this one than the case now i would say the wiring is better done in this than it is on the the, the styros um that's that's kind of their achilles heel really it does is that circuit board in them uh give them bother but no wiring in this one seems pretty good and uh it's just better done the, the way the wiring is done now so like I say, she sold, we won't be doing much uh, field work with it or testing of it anymore. Maybe, look, I might go off and do one or two jobs with it, but um, uh, I, like I say, I was hoping I'd have a huge grow to go in and do a lot of work with it, but no, I can't. It doesn't appeal to me. And unless I come across another one at, at some sort of reasonable money that I can sell at some sort of reasonable money again, I can't see myself buying another one of these um they're worth crazy money there's they have a serious following and literally the phone was non-stop ringing about it once i advertised it uh it was advertised from i think i advertised it at maybe 10 o'clock at night and at half six the following morning it was sold and there was probably 20 other people had inquired about it from in the next following hour so i'll just tell you what kind of a seller they are and what kind of a following now i can see the appeal if you were a john deere man because you know that doesn't appeal to a john deere man whatsoever like he'd have no interest in that tractor so i can see where it would appeal to you if you were a john deere man because it has kind of the ultimate um things like the 50k the air brakes the suspension and the buttons on the stick is you know when lads go from that's what they really really want but no she won't beat my girl so that's pretty much it for me for this video now i want you to do something for me um going forward i brought that tractor as a bit of a trial because it's it's a sought after thing. It's a unique tractor. It's not your run of the mill, shall we say, TM T6 uh, type of tractor. And in my opinion, sales of those are starting to dip slightly because of the year farming has had this year. How the future looks for that. So I want you all to do me a favor. And if you were to see a unique tractor, be it Fint, John Deere, Massey, Case, whatever, what would be the type of tractor you would like to see for sale in this country you know stuff you don't see every day and i think we're going to look into bringing maybe something things a little bit different not stuff not run-of-the-mill stuff even these they'd have a huge following and all that but i would say that maybe selling them would be a little bit slower this year um likes of them you'd sell them like hot cakes out the door but if you had the likes of 6630s, for example, I don't think they would sell just as quick at the moment. That could all change in a couple of months again. But that's just the way I see it. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what type of tractors you would like to see in the country for sale that you don't really knock across every day.